our shoes, it's in our foams, it's in our oceans, it's in us. How much plastic? According to one study published by Science Advances Journal, 8,300 million metric tons to date. Only about 9% of that has been recycled, while almost 80% has gone into our landfills and our environment. That we need to get better at recycling is pretty much a given. But how? At Ames Lab, we're partnering with other national labs and universities as the Institute for Cooperative Upcycling of Plastics, or ICOOP. ICOOP is looking to make the lion's share of the world's plastic waste into recycled materials that retain their quality no matter how many times it's reused. Plastics were a revolutionary new material in the 1950s, but that very same plastic still exists today because it can take a hundred years or more to degrade. Even when it is recycled, it's turned into less valuable materials, a process that's more accurately called downcycling. iCoop is dedicated to upcycling, cost-efficient ways of making waste plastic into chemical building blocks of new materials for everything from oils and detergents to emulsifiers and pharmaceuticals. To make upcycling possible, scientists need to find a way to break down plastics in a controlled way. Plastic is a polymer, which has a long chain-like molecular structure. That's what makes plastic so strong and long-lasting. Usually when polymers are broken down to be recycled, the chain breaks down into different shapes and lengths. In other words, a disorganized mess. Instead, iCoop scientists are designing catalysts that work like cookie cutters to make sure that shapes break down into exactly the right shapes. These right shapes happen to be the building blocks for other economically valuable ingredients. That's what upcycling means. It's taking our old, inefficient way of getting rid of trash and making it not only more useful, but better for the planet. And that's your Ames Lab 101.